Hey everybody, this is Noah with Learn Meta Analysis, and I'm going to make this video which is a little bit different than most videos that I create. So if you watch the channel, you know that I do not like paying for things. I am very, very cheap. I am very much a fan of free and open source. But there is one LLM service that I pay for, and that is Abacus AI's Chat LLM. So as you can see here on the screen at the time I'm recording this, it is $10 per user per month, uh, and it gives you access to a whole bunch of different models, Claude, GPT, Llama, Gemini, etc. And one other thing that I like about it is, well, there's a lot of different things that I like about it, but other quick things I'll mention is that they give you access to code LLM. I haven't actually used that yet, but I'll talk about it. Um, and when it comes to your data access, you also know that I'm big on data privacy. They mentioned that your data is your own and we won't use it for training R or others LLMs. So those are all reasons that really made me want to test this out. And in all openness, I have been using this since November of last year. So that puts me right about three full months of use. So this will be a three month review of chat LLM. So let's dive right into it. Okay. So I'm gonna close this guy. This is what the interface looks like after you sign up. So you're wondering, do you actually get access to all the LLMs that they tell you do? Uh, the answer is yes. So if you go up here at the top, you can see I'm currently using Claude, but we also have GPT-40, uh, O3 Mini, Mini High, O1 Mini, blah, 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 continues. We got DeepSeek, we got Gemini, we got Grok, we got everything, <laughs> everything they said we'd have, right? So currently there are 19 different LLMs offered through here. And I will mention that I think when I signed up, there were like 12. So they have continued to add things. So things that you may be wondering, for example, like aren't Gemini models free? Like aren't the Gemini models free through Google AI Studio? Yes, they are. Uh, what about like DeepSeek? I thought that was free on their website. It is, last I checked. Um, what about Llama? Isn't that just something you can download on your computer? Yes, but you probably can't run a 405 billion parameter model on your computer. So why use this? Well, for me, I wanted to use Claude a lot, more than the free version would let me use. And what I found was when I looked into this site and it was $10 a month, I'm like, hey, that's half the price of Claude. That sounds great, I'm gonna give it a try. And worst case, I'm out 10 bucks. And so that was three months ago, and here I am now still paying the 10 bucks a month to get access to all these things. So what I think is really cool is that if like I have certain things I like to use Claude for, I like to use Claude for coding, but then other times I'm like, you know what? Uh, GPT mini can really solve this pretty well. And so I'll just switch over to mini and it uses less tokens uh, or compute points as they call it. Um, sometimes I have things I like to use Gemini for and so I can just switch over and use Gemini. The other thing that isn't offered on here anymore but used to be on here was they used to offer uh, Claude Haiku if I remember right, which is the smaller version of Claude Sonnet. So that said, this is the main reason that I tried it out and I've been pretty happy with it so far. Um, the question that you might next be asking is, how on earth do they make it so you can access all of these things for half the cost of each system individually? So I wanna show you what it looks like when we go into the profile. And I mentioned this idea of compute points. So you can see down here, well, there's a couple things I wanna point out on this page. First of all, start date, 1 November, 2024, right? So you can see I've been using this for three months now. Today's February 8th of 25. Uh, I've been using it for three months now. Second is this idea of compute points. So they note here that compute points are not tokens. So long story short, I'm trying to think about how to explain this because I don't fully understand how they use this, but my interpretation of what is happening is that if you are using a more expensive model, like for example, Claude, then it uses more compute points than if you're using, for example, a free model like Gemini. So I think that is how it works. I use this primarily with Claude. And so my experience has been, I guess I should tell you guys how I use this site more than anything else. I use this site primarily when I'm doing a lot of coding because as you know, I'm not really a very good coder. Um, I use the LLM to really get me a good jump start and then help figure out what I'm doing wrong. So when I use the uh, chat LLM, I use it very intensely. I usually use it for a few hours at a time with extremely long context windows, um, et cetera. So, I have found that in a month, I have gotten up to 1.2 million compute points. I have never gotten close to the actual 2 million limit. I've never come close to that at all. So I found that really useful for me to know because when I started with this, I was really worried that I was going to hit the bar or hit that hit that, that 2 million uh, compute point 
kind of issue. But I haven't had that be my experience. I will say if you're a very, very, very heavy LLM user where you're using like the most expensive model with huge context windows constantly all day, you may very well run into that. But for me, who uses this just a couple times a month, but very intensely for those few times a month, I have not come anywhere close to it. The next thing that you might be asking is like, do they give you a warning when you start getting up there and compute points? And the answer is yes. Um, I have had perhaps two or three times where I use, was using Claude Sonnet 3.5 and I was way into a coding day, you know, a couple hours in of going back and forth with this thing very frequently with very long context code issues. And I'll get a pop up on the screen that says something like you've used up X percent of your allowance uh, of compute points. We recommend switching models to a cheaper model so that you don't go over your compute points for the month. Um, I often ignore that <laughs> and continue doing what I'm doing. And I haven't run into any issues. Although there are other times when I know if I'm going to be like really using this very intensely during that month, during this billing period, then I will switch over to a cheaper model. Uh, so for example, uh, I would I was previously switching over to Claude Haiku, but now that's not there anymore. So now I'd probably use GPT uh, 40 Mini because that's pretty inexpensive to use. So that's basically all I want to say about uh, the compute points. I think for the average user, you're not going to come anywhere close to the compute points. But if you find that you are, just cancel it. It's ten dollars a month. It's ten dollars to try it. And so I think it was a very uh, low stress thing for me to try. So uh, there are a few things I want to show you about the actual use of it. So I'm going to go back to the actual use case here. And well, actually, one of the things that I think will be interesting is if we look at, you know, how often do I use it? I used it for one little testing thing on February 2. I used it again once on February 1. January 31, I was using it to help me code. 29th, I was creating some funny pictures of birds. Uh, 26th, I was doing the same thing, funny pictures of birds. And then if we go back to January 20th, I was doing a whole bunch of coding things. So you can see that like, I'm definitely not a use this everyday type of person, but in a lot of cases, my, my coding is a pretty extensive conversation. So I'm gonna switch this over to Claude because I like using Claude. You might wanna know how quickly uh, does this respond and that sort of thing. So we'll just say, uh, what is the largest falcon in the world? And we'll use that as our prompt. And you can see it's thinking and it replies back pretty quickly, right? So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you can copy this entire answer. You can regenerate it, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm just gonna switch to, I don't know, I'll use 03 mini high. I haven't, don't think I've actually tried that yet. We'll ask the exact same question here. Um, maybe we'll ask the exact same question. Apparently I didn't copy paste it. So <laughs> there we go. We'll ask 03 mini high now. You can switch to it within the same thing. Oh boy, this is one of those really fun reasoning ones. Okay, so I guess it's not a reasoning one, but anyway, it gave me the uh, the same answer here of the Jeer Falcon, which is correct. So you can see these are these are pretty quick. You can switch back and forth between them within the thing. Uh, so if you want to do a new chat, you just click this button up here, and I want to show you what coding looks like uh, because at least for me, I was using this primarily for coding. So I'll say something like, "Can you help me create a basic index landing page for a website using HTML and CSS?" It should be ultra modern. Like, yeah, we'll just say that, see what it says. So there's a couple cool things here that can happen. Number one, just like a lot of the major LLMs, they have this preview page where it gives you all your code over here and you can actually see what it looks like. We'll just let it finish coding and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so we have all of our CSS here. We have a little bit of our actual landing page and that's our code. If we want to copy, we just click copy. Or if we want to preview it, we can click preview over here. Oh, that does look pretty nice. It's nicer than I expected. Um, so we can click preview here. So I do like that if you are creating things like CSS or HTML, you can just preview exactly what it's making right here. Uh, one of the things I've always found fun is to be like, can you modernize this even further? and see what it does. <laughs> so I don't know, I just like to kind of challenge the LLM sometimes and see what it thinks about things. Be like, what do you think is actually modern? And see see what it comes up with. So we'll just give this one second here and then we will start a new chat. But anyway, I really like this uh, 
the way that it displays code to you like this, where you can just go in here and copy and then you can preview it as well. Um, I did notice that sometimes as you start to get to longer context, sometimes the, or longer conversations, I should say, uh, sometimes the code copy editing doesn't work 100% like one click. Sometimes I have to actually like highlight it and then hit uh, copy, but I haven't found that big of a deal. Yeah, see, so here's an example You can where it's not working in this little code editor perfectly well. So if we go here, there we go. This is what it looks like now. So, but that's the kind of little glitch I was talking about as you start to get into uh, longer conversations with the LLMs in here sometimes, is like in this preview, you'll see what I had to do was click back here, and then it shows you the two separate things that it's come up with. So landing page two is what we are working with. The code is all right here, and then the preview is right here. So this does look pretty good. I actually, I think this is a cool site, um, but I don't, wanna, I don't wanna dwell on that. All right, so a couple other cool things about chat LLM. So it can do image generation. If if we click on that, you have a whole bunch of different options for what it, what kind of image it can come up with. Uh, I will just show you real quickly. Um, create an image of a falcon fighting a dragon, please. I think this will be kind of amusing. Um, I'm not going to change any of the rest of this. I'm just going to say generate and see what it comes up with. So one thing you'll notice is it still lists that it's Claude, but it's not actually using Claude, it's using Flux Pro or whatever we selected in that image generation. And the image generation is, I would say, appropriately quick in the sense of it does not take forever, but it is also not laser beam fast, right? So um, as you can see, we're still waiting here and it's been a few seconds, but it will come up here without without it being too, too long. Um, I think it's usually about 30 seconds to a minute if I had to guess, but I never really never really put it on a timer, but I do like this feature. Um, I tend to make AI images for fun. So like when it's somebody's birthday or something like that, I'll usually make some funny AI image and send it to them just as a funny little, hey, happy birthday <laughs> type of thing. All right, so here's our picture. Wow, that's actually wildly interesting to me. So what's so cool about this is this is not a real type of falcon. I asked it to be a falcon, but it's definitely not a falcon. It's like more of a hybrid between a hawk and a falcon, but that's okay. It's the same general idea. Um, and things look pretty good. And then the dragon, I thought actually is what caught my attention originally because it's got two tails and that's really cool. But anyway, you can see that the image generation works wonderfully. So let's go ahead and open a new chat. Uh, there's a couple other things I wanna show you here. Number one, you can specify that you want it to generate code. You can do the image, as I mentioned earlier. You can go into the playground, which is what they call like the canvas that came up to the side. It can generate PowerPoints for you. Um, I honestly haven't really used this feature. I think I used it one time and it was mostly kind of like bullet points, which I didn't really want. But if you're if you're into that, that's okay. It may they may have changed it since then. Let's just try it. Can you make a short PowerPoint about how to interpret meta analysis results? Let's just see what it comes up with out of curiosity. Um, all right. We'll also see how fast it is. This is one of the more unique things to chat LLM. I honestly haven't seen this on any other of the LLM service providers. I'm sure there are others that do it though. I just don't, like I said, I don't usually pay for things. This is literally the only service that I, that I pay for related to large language models and stuff. And I mainly do it out of convenience. Like if somebody had to summarize, why do you pay for chat LLM, Noah? I would say, well, it's got Claude, GPT, DeepSeek, Gemini, all in one place. So instead of having to like jump between these different services, I just go to one place and then I can use whatever model I want and it typically works very well. So, all right, let's see what it came up with. Okay, so in my opinion, as an instructional design person, um, I think this is a super boring PowerPoint. <laughs> but that said, it is probably a great foundation for creating, or at least a good foundation for creating whatever PowerPoint you wanted to create. So I'm not, um, I'm not going to go through and like comment on the quality of the bullet points and all of that. I mainly wanted you to be able to see the visual design and how it comes up with, and it is still coming up primarily with bullet points. So if you're creating something and you just needed like something quick, this may be a good option for you. So other options that they have here, you can see there's a bunch. Uh, 
screenshots, video generation. Uh, you can humanize it. I don't really know what that means. I haven't used that yet. They have the code editor. They have video analysis. You can scrape a URL and you can do Word document generation. So as you can see, tons of options here for different things that you can do. To be honest, I haven't even scratched the surface of hardly any of this. I haven't done video analysis. I haven't done web scraping. I haven't done Word uh, document generation, just because that's not how I personally typically use large language models. Um, some of these I actually didn't even know were here until just now. Like I didn't know that they did video analysis. I don't know when that got added, but that seems like it might be an amusing thing to test out. So lots and lots of options here. There are a few other things that I want to tell you about that I have not tried. Okay. So first is code LLM. When we click that, you can see it's their own software program. That's an AI code assistant um, and editor. So I have not tried this yet. I can't speak to literally anything about it. Second is Computer Agent. This is something that was added relatively recently and they create like a virtual machine over here and you can control it and it can download things, do all sorts of different things. I have not played with this. I have seen literally one um, one video of somebody going through and using this and I thought, you know what, that's really cool, but it's not something I'm gonna actually use right now. So that's something else I haven't really uh, gotten involved with. The last thing is the AI engineer. This lets you uh, help create custom chatbots or AI agents. Again, as you can see, I have not actually played with this feature because I haven't needed it yet. It's not something that I felt like, hey, I really need this. So that said, it is there. There are lots of options here and to me, for 10 bucks a month, this has been very much worth it. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanna say. If I had to summarize my three month experience with chat LLM, it would be this. Surprisingly good for the price point. And this comes from somebody who signed up for $10 and then was immediately thinking, I'm just gonna cancel it. Like I'm gonna sign up for 10 bucks, I need it for a month and I'm just gonna cancel it. And here we are three months later and I'm still paying 10 bucks a month for it because I'm happy with it. It does what I need it to do. It gives me access to leading models all in one place. I don't have to go hop between like Claude website, GPT website, AI studio website, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to do any of that silliness. I just go to chat LM's website and I get all the models that I like want to use. Uh, and so what I should be saying here is like, uh, I use these models primarily when it's something that I need, like a state of the art leading model, not when uh, everything else I tend to use local models. But when I need a state of the art leading model, I use the chat LLM website and I do it out of convenience and out of price. Uh, for, for, for me, 10 bucks a month is doable. I don't think it's crazy I, it's cheap enough where i don't care if i don't use it that much and it's it gives me access to all the models that i need so i've been very happy with it um, if you want to test it out uh, i will say i do not normally do this but i am going to put a uh, affiliate link in the uh, description so if you do use that link it uh, to sign up it'll give me i think it's a five dollar credit uh, i'll go look i mean it's fully i'll be fully transparent with you guys i don't care um where is it referrals so uh, $5 for each person that you refer. So I am going to put the my referral link down there. If you guys use that to sign up, it'll give me $5 towards my account. So I would appreciate it if you guys do that because like I said, I do like this service. Um, it's been good to me so far over the last three months. And if I remember, I'm gonna try and do a longer term review when I hit the six month mark. Or if I do end up canceling it at some point, then I will probably do a review on that too with my decisions on why I chose to cancel it. But for now, I've been extremely happy with it. I have nothing but positive Positive things to say, only positive things to say about Chat LLM so far. I wish I remembered what YouTube video I first learned about Chat LLM in because I would give it a huge shout out. But to be honest, I watch so many YouTube videos about LLMs, I cannot remember whose channel it was on. But if you are out there and seeing it, seeing this video right now, thank you for first covering this a few months ago because it has been very, very useful to me. And guys, I hope it's very, very useful for you as well. So I'm gonna stop rambling at this point so I don't take up a ton of your time over nothing. But generally speaking so far, after three months of use, uh, I am very, very happy with Chat LLM. So if you guys decide to try it, please let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what your experience is. Thanks and I hope you have a great weekend.